got it. The Mitsubishi KH20 hand crank pencil sharpener. And we're going to review it finally in this video. Well, here it is. This is the box it came in. It just says KH20, and then down here is where you can see it says it's the Uni KH20 Hand Crate Wooden Pencil Sharpener, black, and it's new. I have been looking forward to getting this pencil sharpener, but you know, priorities as they are, there were other things that I needed to get, but finally, as the the year comes to an end, 2016, I figured, hey, I might as well add to my growing collection of hand crank pencil sharpeners. And I've heard so much about this pencil sharpener, I figured, well, I better get it so I can have some fun with it. All right, well, it's well packaged. All wrapped up in plastic. And there she is. And I have to admit, first impressions do make a lot of difference. But that is a handsome, handsome wood crank pencil sharpener. Hmm. Gonna have to explore what the uh, what these different things is. It has this button here. There's the way it looks in the front. That's really nice looking. Now, let's see. It doesn't come with anything else in the box. And it has this, this hole down here, which would normally be something that you can stick in there and clamp to a table. So I find this interesting that it has no clamp to put it on a table. So you got to use this with two hands. Very interesting. We can look inside here. There's the tray. And of course it has this area here because if you do put something in here it will slide through here and this won't be in the way but there you go it says Mitsubishi KH20 I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to find out where where to pick up one of these things if I need it I seem to have misplaced the ones I got with mother hand crank sharpeners I don't know what happened to them but anyway it has a what I like is it's all um, rubberish on the bottom here. I think this is, is it rubber? Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's kind of rubberish. It feels kind of spongy and rubberish. I'm going to have to go with rubber. What's interesting is it says that that is made in China. Or is this made in China? Now Mitsubishi is a Japanese company. See if there's anything on this box here. Interesting, but look it. It says it's made in China. <laughs> okay, but yet the company is in Japan, JP. Wow. So even the Japanese has their manufacturing done in China. Ah, and I like the fact that it locks because oh <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it locks. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Well, now you know it does that too. All right. So don't don't bang the tail around. That nearly gave me a heart attack. All right. And let's see. All right. You have stationary. This is stationary, and this one does the moving, and it opens up your claws there. And what I like about this one is the uh, claws have the rubber, 
the rubber wheelish kind of thing you can see in there. I hope you can see that. Rather than the, the metal claws, so that it won't um, cause the little divots to occur in the pencil, like I'll show you here what happens with those. You can see like somebody's been chewing the pencil. You get these little little holes. It has these jaws, the jaws of death. See that? And this is all metal. Okay, this is plastic. All right, so we, there's a difference there. And then here you have a Carl 5, and it also uses the jaws of death there. You can see that. Okay, and it's all metal. So these are these are metal. This is plastic. Will it take a jumbo pencil? Let's see. No. Okay, so you cannot sharpen jumbos with this. So if you want to sharpen jumbos, you're going to need to go grab one of these that can take jumbo. Let's sharpen a pencil. So here I have this casemate. Uh, pencil. What I like about this is that this Mitsubishi has a very strong tension to it. Uh, it just feels really good. Let's see how well this thing sharpens. I'm not sure what to do. We're going to try it with this button in and then the button out. But right now, I think the Ooh. the button is out right now. We'll try it with the button out. It does uh, stop when it's done, which is nice. Otherwise, it would just sharpen forever, and that wouldn't be any fun. Just pull that out. And nice long point. All right. Now, we'll try it with a... Let's see, here's a... Uh, 909 series pencil from Musgrave. I really like this pencil. It's a good one. And I'm going to try this now with with the button pushed in. Okay guys, broken tip. Stick that in there. Here we go. With it pushed in, right? Ah, okay, that pushed in means give me blunt tip, and there you go, it's a blunt tip. And then with it out, it says give me all of it, give me everything, here we go, sharp point. So it sharpens a little more, and there you go. All right, let's also take a look at the insides here. Now you can unscrew it right here, and then you can pull out the whole assembly. Now that's what that looks like inside. It has the one rotor blade, and if you put your fingers against the sharp blades there, yep, it wants to cut through my skin. So they are really, really sharp. Each one of those spiral blades right there will dig into my uh, skin. That's a good job. It's plastic right here. Um, here's the slider for the blunt or the fine point adjustment. If you'll notice uh, as I click the button, you can see the little stop right there. That's where the pencil point it's prevented from going to the full length of the blade. If you click it so that it pops out, then that will, of course, force all the way. And I'll show you with an actual pencil here. You can see when the pencil goes in there, you can see the point stops right at that metal stopper right there. And it can't go the full length. And then, of course, if we click that off, then it can go... The full length so you can easily see the difference right there using that adjustment okay that's simple enough okay and there's nothing else really these are keys right here that just keys into the side right here and right here and there's a couple of Phillips screws here if you have to for some reason take this thing apart though I don't see why you'd ever have to do that 
and we'll just go ahead and put the keys through here and then we should just be able to simply turn it let's there we go, and then turn it nice and tight. All right, and that works out really good. This is your view, so you can see how much you have of shavings. Uh, this is not a built-in glass view. Uh, that you can see here is actually the back end of the tray. All right, well there you go. That's the Mitsubishi KH20. I would say that is a mighty fine pencil sharpener. It's going to be right there in my top five, of course, of pencil sharpeners. It produces what I believe to be the longest point uh, that you can get from a hand crank sharpener that I have tested to date. Uh, in its comparison to the Helix, although the amount of graphite, the tip, is the same as the Helix, the distance between the very point and where the paint starts is just slightly longer with the Mitsubishi. Thus, it would have to make it the longest overall point if you want to call a point from the paint to the tip. Otherwise, the Helix or the Carl, which uses the teeth type grip, uh, has the same amount of exposure, so that means you're going to get the same amount of write or draw from this or those. There's no difference. Uh, this one just shaves a little more wood off on the end here, which really doesn't make any difference, so I would say that they equate the same. You need to choose, though, whether you prefer a rubber grip or the metal teeth grip. The difference between the two, and I'll put it like this, the teeth type grips that mark up the pencil, they put these little holes in the pencil, they are the best for preventing pencil spin inside the sharpener. Since the sharpener itself is a hand crank and it's trying to sharpen around like this, you don't want the pencil to turn with it because then that would defeat the purpose. So naturally digging into the pencil is going to be the best way to grip a pencil. However, if you have luxury pencils as I do, such as the Blackwing pencils, where, you know, it has really nice paint job on it, it's real fancy, maybe you use it in a nice office, whatever, you don't want to have those little teeth mark. Well, if you're going to use a teeth type pencil sharpener, you have to wrap a little paper or something around it before you stick it in, or you can use something like these rubber grips uh, that this Mitsubishi just happens to have that will uh, not put the teeth mark. And because this Mitsubishi does have a very strong, this is a, I could just, I mean, this is strong. It is really going to grip that pencil uh, tight. However, I would imagine over time, uh, whether this mechanism will lose a little of its strength or the rubber will wear in a little bit. Who knows? I've never had one long enough to actually test that. Uh, feel free to comment below if if you feel that or you know of such a case. But with the rubber ones, of course, um, they won't mark up the pencil, which is a nice thing. And as long as it has this powerful grip, that's great because it should hold uh, the pencil well, especially if your blade is well sharpened. Uh, a well sharpened blade will not dig into the pencil and try to spin it, which you don't want to happen. And so I would prefer the rubber grips especially for those um, really nice pencils you don't want teeth mark but then again you know you just have to kind of decide what is more important to you uh, you can probably get the best of both worlds with this especially when it's relatively new and it'll probably go through thousands of pencils before I would imagine any kind of slippage could possibly occur with the rubber here or with the blades getting dull so there you go anyway I think we've covered this pretty good it is an excellent sharpener. It is, I'll say one more thing about it. It is larger in size than uh, most other hand crank sharpeners you're going to find out there. Uh, it, it's, just, it's a little taller than the Helix or the, um, the Carl, but uh, it is definitely much wider. And it's taller and wider than the other hand cranks that I happen to have done videos on. So it is a pretty sizable uh, hand crank. Uh, pencil sharpener. All right. Well, hey, thanks for watching this review. Uh, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.